Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. I hope you're all okay. Now today we've got um, another crafty video for you and what I've got in front of me, I have some jars that I've basically saved and washed, so nice clean soapy water. And I've also got some succulents. Now these came from two different places. We've got the craft shop uh, Clandon Note and we've also got Zadeel. Do you remember we did a haul for them a little while ago when I had that big orange bag of, of goodies? They came in that package. The Landon no Shop, they also do online as well. So don't think that you can't get any of these. But if you do struggle, then you can just type, you know, succulents or something into Google or into Amazon. You should be able to find them. So what we're going to do is we're going to decorate these little jars and we're going to pop some of the succulents inside. So I just thought that would make a really nice, we could make them as gifts so you could just have them in your home. Now these larger ones here were £2 and I can't remember how much these were, I'm afraid. These are the smaller ones, but they had so many on there. So you can just, you know, pop on and, and have a look. So with the glass jars, what I've got is I've got all sorts of different sizes here because I thought it'd be nice to do a range of, of sizes, really, of sizes, just so you can get an idea of, of what you could do. So to start with, I'm going to paint the jar. So I've got an ordinary glass jar there and I've got some acrylic paint, which I'm going to use. I've got, I just basically pulled out a selection of the paint that I've got. I've got a light grey, a white, that one there in that nice colour there, that sort of sagey colour, says it's for glass, that's a deco art one. And I've also got this acrylic paint, which I think I could use on it. So just basically, I'm gonna start, I'm just gonna paint these. I'll have to give them a couple of coats, I would imagine, and I'll probably start with the grey, because I think the grey would look quite, quite nice. So what I'm gonna do is I save these little pots. Um, I think. They, was, they had puddings in them or something and I generally use things like that just to put my paint in and you can wash them out just to to reuse them so I'll start and paint these right so I'm just gonna paint this all. it is a really light gray I think just do it to your decor really just do what you've what you've got um, you could make them really quite bright actually. I tend to do pale colours, but you should make some really bright ones. So I'm just going to paint all the way around here. I'm going to do the others as well, so we can make a few at the same time. We'll let this dry. I'll do another coat and then we'll start on the next bit. Right, so the pots have dried now, and what I've done to this one is just put um a layer of like a varnish or matte finish, Mod Podge, that sort of thing over the top, just to protect the paint, because I'm not going to decoupage this one. If I was going to decoupage it like these pots, then I've left them, I haven't varnished those yet, so just hold fire on those. So with this one, what I thought we could do is to put some of this decorative ribbon around it. Now you can buy this, I got that from the craft shop, but you can buy it, I'm sure I've seen it in home bargains and places like that little craft shops will sell it you'd be able to get it online and the good thing with this is it comes in sort of layers so if you didn't want it that thick you can literally just cut it to however thick you want it and it won't fray or anything like that so I thought we could put that around the middle I thought that would look cute I'm just trying to do something different to the usual flower <laughs> that I normally do don't worry the usual flower is coming up you know I won't let you down so I'll just trim a little bit of that off and pop that around the middle. I thought that would just look quite cute. Have I cut that too thick? Yeah, let me just take another row off. But you can see how easy it is to cut. You can just like you can save bits like that, and it's just just really easy to do. So I'm going to use my new favourite, the pin flare glue. I've got to be careful because it will all splodge out. So you watch it all splodge out, even though I've just said that. So I'll just put a little bit on there. And then stick that in the middle. And probably, should I put some in there as well? I probably should, shouldn't I? Just a little dab, just to hold it as we go round. 
I much prefer this glue to hot glue. I've said it before a million times and I'll probably keep saying it as well. Just put another bit on there and I'll show you how we're going to get the succulents to stand up inside as well in a minute. So I'll just stick that on there. I'll probably decorate them all before we do the, the succulents. Right, so that's that. Now at the top you could put maybe some ribbon would look quite nice you could put some um like the string around it if you wanted to you could go again with something like that that would look quite nice you know i might do that actually just make this one quite quite blingy we don't do sparkle like this very often do we so i don't think it'll hurt every once in a while have a bit of sparkle measure that round I just think it looks quite sweet but you can do whatever colour you want let me see if I can get the back the same I think that's the back look I'm getting all tangled up right. stick that round had these succulents for quite some time and it's kind of been one of those projects that I've thought oh, I'll do that next I'll do that I'll do that another week and I've kind of always put it off but I'm quite pleased that I've got around to doing it but can you see why we had to seal it first because obviously it would be very difficult to try and get in and out with some sealer once you'd put all this sparkle on it so let's pop this now this glue it does take a little while to become sort of hard so just be careful with it so i think we'll leave that one like that i think that looks pretty cute and um, we'll decorate the others but i want to try and do them a little bit different so you've got like different ideas so there's that one this one here um i haven't even finished painting the bottom because you're not you're not going to need it but I thought this would look really nice around I'm trying to think where I got this from um hmm, might have been Danelm I think they sell like ribbon and stuff like this and so does what's it called Hobbycraft they sell bits like that I'm just going to stick that around the top I just thought this is so cute, this pom pommy ribbon. I just thought that looks cute. And because we're not actually, because normally when we decorate jars, we're putting candles in them, aren't we? But because we've got no flame, should I get that level? Um, it won't matter to put stuff like this on. Because there's no flame to be careful of. So we can pom pom these up. But hopefully, guys, you're all okay watching this. I want to say a, a hello to Sarah, my friend from America. She's uh, become a good friend. Hopefully she's coming to visit me at some point. Well, not coming especially to visit me, but when she's here, we will do. So that will be lovely. Made some really nice friends on here. Always things don't meet up, look. I, I kind of go a little bit off on a tangent on the way around and end up starting and stopping at this different place never mind it's okay but look that looks cute doesn't it i mean even the paint's not very good up there but you won't see that but that looks really cute so again that's like a different kind of idea you won't see all that inside when we have finished doing what we're doing with it so this one here um i've not Oh, why is that wet in there still? Oh, that's a big thick bit that's not dried. Um, but we're not doing anything on the inside, so we should be okay to carry on, just as long as I don't poke my finger in it again. Done around there. Yeah, there's a big thick bit that's not dry, but that'll be okay. We can stu still do what we need to do. So with this, what we're going to do is to transfer one of these images on to the side of the pot. 
and it's dead simple to do. I've got myself a little bit of water here and a small paintbrush. And this is just a piece of a napkin. So I know there are so many other ways that you can do this and I just like doing it this way. This is kind of the way that I that I find easiest to do. Um, and you can like slide it on water and all sorts of fancy things, but I just find this far easier. I also want to say hello to my auntie Gail. She watches uh, my crafty videos and she likes doing decoupage and things like that and crafty things. Right, so we've seen this a million times, but if you are new here, what you do is you just separate like the bits that you don't want and keep the bits that you do want. And if you're like me, you'll rip the wrong bit a million times and have to start again. Do you know what? I was doing some work the other day and I had these napkins right on the side. I think I was getting things ready for the video and I had one of these little pots of water and I knocked it all over onto the napkins. And I think I've kind of managed to save it, but it is a little bit crinkly, but it's great to have napkins to mop up, but not when they're expensive ones. Not exactly kitchen roll, are they? Right, so. These little corner bits can prove a bit tricky. Now, with napkins, they're generally three plies, so we need to separate the plies. So there's one there. And then what I do is lick my fingers and then do that to separate them. And that part there is the bit that we want. So we need a little bit of plastic. We'll grab a bit of plastic. You can use cling film for this, but I use these, tend to use these little pockets now. You know the little A4 like folder ones that you get? And then because you can just wipe them and use them again. So just cuts down on the plastic a little bit. So here we've got the matte finish. That's the Fairy Chic Emporium. You know I've said before, I love that. Just turn around to get a brush to use. And then what we're going to do is get our pot and then get some of the matte finish, pop it onto the pot and then stick this do you know what that's too big misjudged that one just a bit didn't i crikey here's me thinking that's lovely we'll have all that on it's huge let's take a bit more off very carefully that should fit now that should be okay so where were we anyway so pop that on there and then get your piece of plastic and then use that to smooth it down if you go straight on with the brush you'll rip the napkin because it's so thin it's it, it can't take any pressure when it's wet when you're doing things like rice paper they can take a bit of a a brush but you just have to be so careful so that's the image transferred onto there and once that's dried what we'll do is we'll go over the whole of it with some more of the matte finish and then that will seal it all round and then we'll put something around this top bit but we'll just let that dry for a minute so we'll just pop that with the others <clears throat> excuse me and then this one i thought we could do the same i think this was something like a dorito dip jar or something like that it just shows to show that if you save your jars you can really you know use them you don't have to pop them all into the recycling i love using old jars and things again courtney's um just got her own place and um she had them before but they've moved so she's got a, a two-bedroom house now and she had a flat before and uh, she saw me making these and she was like, oh, mum, I was thinking about getting some of them for the new house. And she was like, hint, hint. <laughs> so I think, yeah, all right, Courtney, I'll make you some, don't worry. 
So hopefully this one fits. See, this is a bit big as well. What more am I thinking? I mean, I do think that cling film is easier, I have to say, but I am doing my little bit for the environment here, guys. Let's poke that in there. I need a bit more down here. Oh, always get scared putting the brush on it. Poke that in there a bit. You can always sort of hide that. Oh, look, I'm dancing with danger now. I'm going to quit while I'm ahead. Right, so there it is on there. I think that looks really pretty. I absolutely love that colour blue against white. It's one of my favourites. I've got a top like that. I really, really love it. So they're the two decoupaged ones that we've got. And then we've got the other two there. So we're going to let those dry. As I said to you a second ago, we'll paint around the edge with the finish just to, to finish it all off. In these, I kind of just painted in the top. So we will finish those as well, just so you can, because that'll be the only bit that you can see a little tip of that. Um, also, let me just show you, I did get some of these out of my little stash. You could put bits like this on. I think I got these from eBay. So you could put like a heart on the front. There's ribbon. I mean, we still might use the ribbon, but I don't think I will. Um, so you could tie that around the top. You could do like loads of different things. There's different lace and bits over here. Let me just pull these in. So, so there's bits like that. If you've got like a haberdashery shop or something, I don't know if they, they're about as much as what they used to be, but you could get things like this. Um, anything like that would be nice put that around the top there and also another thing that you could do is if you didn't want to put that sort of um decoration and ribbon on you could get your clay like your dust clay you could pop that into a mold and you can literally stick that around and stick that on the front as well uh, with some wood glue or something like that paint it distress it so you could do lots and lots of different things you don't have to just do ribbon or decoupage you can put a mold on the top as well so dust clay is really really good for that so um that's that stage done once these are dry which will be a couple of seconds for you we will put the stuff in the middle and then start and put the actual succulents in right so now we're going to put some of the the succulents inside so i'll just bring those back in i'm not sure which one i'm going to put where but we'll work that out when we come to it so to stick them in and get them to hold what i'm going to use are some of these little florist blocks now you can these are ones that i've used before these really make my teeth feel really like set and really on edge um so these are from projects that I've used, like old bits. You can use those because we're not actually going to see them. Or you can buy these little round bits. I've got them from Banded Now. Um, but see, that's going to be too big to fit in there. But I'm just going to show you. We want it so it fits inside. So they've got to go inside. So I just need to cut them to shape. But I'm not going to do that on camera because if you're anything like me, it will drive your teeth crazy. So I'm just going to use a knife and cut them into a little shape and we'll stick them into the bottom of each pot so we can poke the succulent inside right so we'll get some of our glue we'll splodge that on the bottom you can use hot glue if you want to and then we're just going to poke this in i might have to give it a little push like that so we don't want it all the way to the top we want a little bit of a gap and but that is exactly what we're we're looking for there's a bit of paint come off there but i can just sort that out so i'll do that to all of the others right so the next step is we're going to put some of these succulents inside now around the edge i'm going to put some decorative gravel now this i just literally bought from a pet shop it's what goes in the bottom fish tanks you can get all sorts of different colors and the only sort that I could really find when I bought it was black. But I think it'll be fine. You can get whites and creams and all sorts of different colours. So it's literally, you get a big bag and it will last absolutely ages. So I've popped some in here just to make it easier just to get out. So we're going to put one of the succulents, just literally stick it down um, in the middle. 
and just got kind of like push in but I think that this stem might be a little bit too tall yeah so what I'm going to do is just cut a little bit off that and then we'll try and poke that bit in again so we're going to just push that again in there that should fit and that should be about right so let's take that back out again because we know that's going to fit and then we'll pop this gravel just in the top like that and then this is what hides the florist stuff underneath and then we just need to find that again and poke that in now if you wanted to you could pop a little glue bit of glue in to hold that in place but that i think is super cute the angle's a bit dodgy that i'm showing you there but that is the effect that i'm going for but i think it looks really cute and i'm quite pleased with the black i was worried that the black would be a bit too much but i think that looks really sweet so i'll just do exactly the same with this one so i'm just going to fill that up with some gravel and then you have to find wiggle it about there we go and just push that in that will stick in that won't need any glue for that one just push it down and if you need to put any more around the edge you can just kind of poke some bits in around the edge see i might not manage to kill these because if you've been with me a little while you'll know that i kill kind of oh look that's come off i kill kind of every plant that comes in contact with me even even if i try my hardest not to i still manage to kill them so even i could keep this alive i think apart from i'm chucking most of these stones on the floor on the, on the table should i say so there we go the angle's a bit dodgy but you get the idea and it makes it look really lopsided but i think that's the leaves so that's that one but you can see how they're all kind of coming together and looking quite good and snazzy i'm just going to do the other two now as well right let's do these other two i don't know why i had the camera so zoomed in just then but i'll just squidge a bit more in these these are actually really quite fun to make you could do loads of different colors as well couldn't you let's poke that in there this glue's good it does take a bit longer to set but it is really nice stuff um, I am going to put some ribbon around that as well, but I'll probably do that after I've finished kind of messing about with this because this is a bit like horrible. So with these, you see, you could put you could put a couple in if you wanted to. You could just kind of have a play about with it and just put in however many you think, really. I definitely think the stones are a nice kind of touch. Oh, do you know, one might have been enough. There's me poking two in. But I think that's the thing. You've just got to, you just got to do it and then see what, oh, and then she pulls the bit off the top. You've just got to do it and then just see what looks good. You know, just have a play about with it. But try not to pull it all to bits like I've just done. Let's just stick that back on there. Put a dab of glue on that just to hold that hold that up do you know one might be enough i think in that you don't want to go too much and overload it do you right so now what we're going to do is just put a little bit of ribbon and trim around these two i think because we're doing kind of floral i think we'll go with some trim like that and it just literally is going to hide this top part of the the jar that you screw the lid onto so i'll just message message i'll just unravel that um just cut that off and we'll just stick that on with a bit of this glue what well, say once this glue sets it's absolutely fine but i'll just turn it to the back and stick the seam at the back there but again this kind of keeps in with the same oops, the same theme got a bit of that stuck up there but if this is not your cup of tea, then don't do it frilly. Just do whatever, whatever you like. You could do a black and white one. That would look nice as well. Stick that there. 
but I've tried to do sort of like different designs so you can kind of pick you know the style that you want so people like less fuss and some people like a bit more don't they so it just depends what what you like and then this I think I'll put some of this lace and pearls on this next one just measure that and then cut that off and do exactly the same thing so I've enjoyed making these I'm glad I made them in the end as I said I did put them off for quite some time but I'm glad I finally got round to doing them. Just stick these last ones on. I think um, I'll make, so I'll check what colour scheme Courtney wants for her house and then I'll probably make her a couple more unless she particularly wants some of these. That is about it. It just needs to finish drying and that's all, all four of them all done. So you know hopefully i've inspired you to have a go at making something like this if you have and you haven't um subscribed then please subscribe it's completely free and also give the video a thumbs up because it does really help it helps um me really um but that's it for me i hope you're all okay i hope you're keeping safe and well and i will see you again soon so you take care bye for now